Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at stationary pads. This episode of MacMost Now is brought to you by Gazelle.com. Gazelle is the easiest, fastest way for you to sell or recycle your gadgets. Every item gets an offer and you get paid to be environmentally responsible. Use promo code MacMost for a 5% bonus. So stationary pads are something that have been around on Macs since before OS X. Basically, they're a way to lock files so instead of editing the current file, you automatically create a new one. Let's take a look. So as a simple example, let's create a document that can be used for telephone messages. It's a text edit document and I've just put some basic fields here like who the call is for, the time, the phone number, the message, that kind of thing. And I want to be able to turn this into a stationary pad so when I open it, I'm not actually editing the original document, but I'm editing a copy of it. To do that, I'm going to select the file, use Command I to get info for that file, and I'm going to check off stationary pad. Now, once a document's a stationary pad, when I double click it to open it, it won't actually open that document. Instead, it'll create a copy of it. You see it created the copy here and it will open that copy. You can see here the names match with the copied file and the document I'm editing. So if I edit this file and I save it, it's actually saving this copy. So I've got this first one here, which is the message, and that's a stationary pad. And the second one here, which is not a stationary pad, it's just a normal file. And this is the one that has the edits that I made. Now once I've saved the document, I can select it and then edit its name. Now I can edit the original by selecting it and turning off stationary pad. I can also simply drag and drop it to the document editor, text edit in this case, and when I edit it in here and save it out, it will turn off stationary pad. So I have to go back in with command I and make it a stationary pad again once I've saved a change. And now when I create the next version of it by double clicking, I have the change template that I'm using. So you can do this kind of thing with any application that saves documents as a single file. For instance, here in numbers, I can create a daily sales pad that perhaps I open up at the end of the day to record all my sales. Now I can save that out close it, and I have this numbers document right here. I select it, turn it into a stationary pad. Now when I double click it to open it, I will create a copy of it and have the cells already filled out here and ready to enter my data in, and I can save a new one every day without worrying about overwriting the original. So you can use stationary pads with any application that saves documents as single files, like Excel or Word, PowerPoint, Keynote, Pages. There are lots of different possibilities. An alternative way to do this is not to use stationary pads, but simply to lock the file. This will allow you to open it, but then you can't easily save over the file. Instead, you can use File Save As to save a new copy of it. Still other applications have built-in template and stationary features, such as Mail, which has an entire set of stationary functionality. Hope you found this look at stationary pads useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.